This Morelia Bradley, along with those in the video clips to follow, is going to help us talk about instinct and learning in regards to animal training. According to the Oxford Dictionary of Zoology, 2014, instinct is a genetically acquired force that impels animals to behave in certain fixed ways in response to particular stimuli. And learning is the acquisition of information or patterns of behavior other than by genetic inheritance. Instinctual behavior is innate, it's not learned. Learning involves behavior change or modification based on prior experiences. The behavior this Bradley is exhibiting in this footage is instinctual. This is one type of classic ambush posture typical of this species of sit and wait predator. She did not learn it. She arrived with us as a two-year-old having lived her life prior to that inside a tub in a breeder rack system lacking environmental complexity or opportunities for behavioral choices. She would not have had ledges or perches and was housed alone, so would not have learned this behavior as a result of parental care or by copying conspecifics. This is also generally true in the wild, since snakes are precocial, and with just a few exceptions, most species do not live in social groups. Once living in this habitat, she immediately started climbing, resting on ledges, and assuming this ambush posture, despite not having been taught or exposed to others doing it and not having had the opportunity to express this behavior before. That's because it is one of those behaviors that is instinctual and does not have to be taught. Instinctual behaviors like these can be worked with as we guide learners to perform operant behaviors useful to us in captive management. She is in the very early stages of being target trained. So right now she's just being asked to perform the operant behavior of touching the target in order to earn a food reinforcer. Her natural instinct to strike at anything moving below her definitely kicks in here, but then she is able to reassess the situation, slow down, inhibit that instinctual drive to strike at moving objects below her, come towards the target, she tongue flicks at it, and then she earns her reinforcement. This is another Morelia Bradley who arrived with us at a younger age. He was just over a year old when he arrived, and he's been learning target training since then. As you could see here, he immediately, as soon as he saw the target, turned around. He changes position 180 degrees, and he very fluently exits his enclosure and starts to move over to the station. This is a really fluent behavior for him. He's very confident in doing this. He's a more experienced learner than the snake we just saw. Now I'm gonna ask him for something new. As you notice here, he starts to S his neck because up until this session, I have delivered the food reinforcement once he gets onto the station or once he just crosses the station in a straight line and hangs in an ambush position over the edge. However, in this session, I'm gonna ask him for even more behaviors. I want him to move around the vertical PVC that's there, and then I want him to climb over the top of the horizontal PVC perch. And that is because this behavior is going to be used down the road to get him to station on a scale for weighing. So 100% of his body has to be out of his enclosure and on the station, and it all has to be on the station to get an accurate weight. And so this is the behavior that I'm starting to shape with him now. And you can see that his natural instinct to follow motion, his natural instinct to anchor around things, his natural instinct to climb, and then here, his natural instinct to hang over something and get in that typical ambush posture is all helping with this shaping procedure. Now, being a more experienced learner, he knows that when I flatten the target from vertical to horizontal, that he's to pause in position and then look for the reinforcement to come from elsewhere. This Bradley is demonstrating a longer duration hold behavior. She is a more advanced learner who has been in our program longer. This Bradley is a more advanced learner with very fluent stationing behavior who has been able to generalize stationing behavior to now station herself on a scale for weighing.
This is an example of the target being used as a recall device. This Morelia Bradley had been out in a designated exercise space and wandered out of the area and gotten behind these enclosures. They're not on wheels and it's difficult for me to get back there to where she was. So I used the target as a way to recall her to get her to relocate from where she was exploring to an area where it would be easier for me to pick her up and place her back into her normal living space. Obviously, she's a more experienced learner. I've been working with her a long time, and this worked beautifully for me to recall her from where she was exploring and to put her safely back in her normal habitat.